Earlier in the year, yes, but the security was in place, barriers and a guard in the uh, control room. Um, at this moment in time, it's not in operation. Um, equipment's being installed, that's it. Oh, I'm not sure how this one's gonna go. Milton Keynes Parcel Sort Centre. Because I can't see any sort of reception or gatehouse, site entrance, deliveries, visitor parking. So visitors straight on. So down in this direction. But look how long that footpath is. Visitor entrance to the left there. Oh, it's a shared road. So we've actually got Woodman Stern and Royal Mail. So yeah, with it being a shared road, I can't tell you to go away. So let's get the main camera out. I'll do a video about this place. So yeah, here we are in Milton Keynes at another one of these multicolored, massive warehouses on Magna Park and Royal Mail. You will have seen the little intro there from the GoPro. I'm having trouble with the GoPro at the minute, so hopefully that looks okay. But one thing to notice is the footpath is all damaged. And I suspect lorries have been parked on here, which is too much weight. They're not designed for heavy HGVs, are they? So we also notice that the barriers are permanently open. What's that all about? An open gate and open barriers. Well, if this has to be a security penetration test, then so be it. Because we're just going with the flow on this one. Now, in the gatehouse, nobody has noticed me at all so far. And also, the pedestrian gate is open. It has got a lock, but it's been left open. You know, it's even got this special bit of metal there, so you can't reach in, you can't open it from the outside, but they don't close the gate at all. And that's the result. So I could actually walk in there if I wanted to, but let's give them a chance. Let's stay in the areas that we can access. And look, we've got a nice view into the warehouse. As I try and get my camera through the fence and zoom in. So lots and lots of trolleys and we can even see some conveyor belts in the background. In the mornings and at night, we're very, very busy. And we've got a, uh, a skip that's got, uh, well, metal and paper in this one. Some of the cards that go on the, uh, the top of the Yorks to identify them. So, should we do a security penetration test? Yeah, why not? Because the Royal Mail, we all rely on the Royal Mail and we need them to be, well, on high alert and be aware of security and we don't want our postal service being disrupted do we so we're in we are in the warehouse or the sorting depot should we call it i've not actually stepped in <laughs> just yet but i'm demonstrating to you that i could easily be inside here right now and loads and loads of yorks that go all the way back look all the way back. Conveyor belts that I presume these push on the back of the vans to help get parcels off quicker. Some water coolers, well, water bottles for the, uh, the water cooler dispensers. And we can see lots of uh, automation maybe at the back there. But it's very light. They've chosen to have so many skylights, which means they don't need as many 
electricity <laughs> lights, do they? But I'm really, really reluctant to go in. I'm going to stay outside. What have they got in the skip? Lots and lots of these cards. Swindon, Nottingham, Croydon. And we've got some of the loose... These are York trolleys that they use. They put this red sort of insert into it and you can just put all your loose stuff in there. Yeah, just a cardboard skip really and I don't know why they're in there. A bit of metal and that fabric. And you'll notice there's no moving vehicles around. So I will not be uh, putting myself in any danger before you say. And this is what the loading bays look like. And they've all got a light there. Not one trailer on any of the loading bays. And there is a, uh, a footpath going all the way up, but it looks a very long walk to me. And I don't fancy that. So, I think it's time to go and wake security up, who are still oblivious and still have two open barriers there. So I do hope people high up in Royal Mail watch this and make some changes that will benefit the public who rely on Royal Mail. We don't want people wandering on to these sites that could potentially disrupt the operation. We do not want it. So, still nobody at all in there. And I'm not going in. I've made the decision, I am not going in. So, let's go wake security up. Let's have a look inside this one. Let's see exactly what's in this skip. Yeah, they've mixed metal with more of these cards. And if you want to know exactly what one looks like, that's it. What a waste, eh? What a waste. Wonder how often they're chucking that uh, volume away. So, Mr. Security, I hope I don't find him asleep. I really hope I don't find him asleep. Oh, it's locked. There's nobody in there. There is no security. An empty seat with a CCTV screen pointing on the disabled bay at front entrance, it says. But nobody at all in there. Shocking. So if there's nobody in there, the gate should be closed. Hmm. But look, it's permanently... It's been left permanently locked, so you can't even close it if you wanted to, unless you have the key. So normally I would do a good deed and close the pedestrian gate. But there's no point, is there? Uh, yeah, I think I will, actually. I think I will. If a child came round here and walked in... Oh, no, yeah. That was quite hard to close. You have to push it in. But well, there you go. A tiny bit secure now. <laughs> but as we walk around the site, landscaping, you know, appearance, very nice. Very nice indeed. And here we get to uh, a visitor reception, is it? Can you go in? No, nobody can go in. It's all access controlled. Milk delivery bin. Ah. That's okay, I'm just doing a, uh, oh, <laughs> close. It's what's called a, a security penetration test. So it's just from the public areas. If any, anything's open, we'll just go in and see, far, see how far we can get. This was closed, brilliant. The back, the back is all wide open. You know, no, no, nothing to do with Royal Mail, but Royal Mail will be interested to see the findings 
Yeah, yeah, you're brilliant. You've got it all controlled. No, no complaints this side. All right, okay. And right. um, is there anybody senior on site that I could just inform of the findings? Um, there is, I think, the, um, the operational manager around. Okay, I'll just tell you, um, I'm going to go back over the road and for the next 10 minutes, I'm just going to be taking the drone around just to finalise the report. If you did want to tell the, the person you mentioned there that I'm here, I've just done a test, it didn't go too well. If they do want to speak about it, I'll be there for 10 minutes, all right? Sure. All right, thank you. So there you go. Security penetration test in the public interest with no malicious intent and we didn't actually go into the building. I could have and then uh, when you're asked to leave, you leave. It's only trespass but I've decided not to. So yeah, let's remain where we can be seen with the drone and see what the, uh, the big boss man has to say. So, as always, We've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area. Let's take David over Royal Mail. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So the pleasant lady in that uh, reception, her door was locked and she was watching but security down there <laughs> shocking isn't it shocking so when you think that your parcels should never go missing or they say they've got disruption at the mail center or there's been a delay or whatever could it have been somebody's been in there and tampered with the machinery to stop it from working or planted some sort of surveillance device to to capture information or have they got in there and swiped a parcel there didn't seem to be many parcels in there but we've come on a friday afternoon and i dread to think what it's like at other times of the day so uh, an amazing building very big but just a shame of uh, what we've found. So there is gonna be nothing on those sides at all. So we've literally got these loading bays and no solar panels <laughs> and still the wide open gate, open barriers, no security. So that's all I wanted to show you really on this drone footage. We wasn't expecting to see anything majorly interesting and we've already done a 360 when we uh, visited these other units in the background. I'm not sure what video is going to come out in what order so yeah you'll know if we've done one of these buildings before because you can't uh, <laughs> you can't get it mixed up with any other type of uh, building. So let's get David back and see where this one goes from here. So that was the drone footage you know, we wasn't expecting to see a major excitement on this place, but at least you can see how big it is. So while we wait for Mr. Bossman, if he does want to come out and take the matter seriously, let's comment on this. This big crack in the uh, pedestrian footpath, which normally comes from subsidence or vehicles parking on the footpath when they shouldn't. But because it's all the way over here, I'm thinking that they didn't concrete this border in enough and it's just managed to uh, to fall away. Very, very poor foundations and uh, so yeah, that's my suspicion anyway, but you guys let me know. There's a lot of ground workers that watch this. Let's follow the crack and see what's happening behind this barrier for some more clues while we wait. Yeah, it looks like they've tried to reinforce it, look with more concrete on the edge. But even that has come away. So it looks like even though they've tried to put more concrete, it's still falling away. So this grass bank just seems to be falling. So take the whole lot off and concrete the whole thing. <laughs> it will cost a lot of money, but it will save doing all these repairs down here. 
and I'm not sure what that's all about. So if I try and scrape this, uh, this away here, we should see where the concrete ends. Yeah, you can just about see it. So it's only got this much concrete. Put it back how we find it. Hi. Hello there. Yeah, just raising my concerns. I've made a video about the place today. Okay. Um, it's like a public audit and I call it a security penetration test. So there's many things I've noticed. The main one being that the barrier and the gate is open. It's no security there. Even the pedestrian gate is open, wide open. I've closed it now because okay. I wouldn't want children to wander in there by mistake. Okay. Yeah, pedestrian gate, do you know which one I mean? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I walked in unchallenged. There's a big open shutter which takes me right into your warehouse. Okay. Because I do this on video, I never pass the, the line of outside to inside. So you've got no um, concerns about anything being tampered with. No, no. But I'm highlighting this so that hopefully nothing ever does. Because we've all put a lot of trust in Royal Mail. We want to know the place is secure. A lot okay. more secure than that. Has, has anybody explained the purpose of this unit to you? Um, so far. I do know that it's much busier at night and in the mornings. Right, okay, it's not in operation at the moment, it's being prepared to go into operation. Brilliant, that's exactly... Um, the people that are working in there are contractors installing equipment. Okay, brilliant. So the site technically belongs to the contractor at the moment. Brilliant. Okay, we'll go and speak to them now and we'll address the security concerns. It's great to know that there's no mail being handled here. Are you confirming that? No mail has gone through this... At this moment in time, not at all. Brilliant. Um, oh, you're not confirming early, it or...? Earlier in the year, yes but security was in place, barriers and a guard in the uh, control room. Um, at this moment in time, it's not in operation. Um, equipment's being installed, that's it. Yeah, that, no, that, that is actually great to hear, actually. Okay. That reassures me that you are, if, if it was in operation, maybe you would be a bit more heightened on the security. So that's brilliant. But you are aware that surveillance could be popped in there now to capture information in the future. That's the, that's the only okay. thing I would say on um, that. The only thing I would say in answer to that is the the site is monitored both locally and um, and remotely as well. So it goes to a control room. So there's cameras installed around. Yeah. There. No, what I mean is like a hidden camera could be installed, could be well, popped we up. See, we would see somebody inside the warehouse doing that. There's nobody there. No, from the remote remote monitored cameras that we've got installed. Yeah, but it wouldn't activate anything just by going in and popping it because I could have literally got put my hand in okay. and popped it on. I understand what you're saying, but the cameras are, are 24 7 24/7. Yeah, hopefully the cameras would have captured me and somebody would have come out to challenge me, but I didn't get challenged and it's worrying. Because it's not operational. Yeah, I know, but at that moment in time, I could have popped the hidden camera there, which will then talk wirelessly, and I could be watching you when you don't want people watching your stuff. Yeah, so anyway, I'm only highlighting it. Even if the contractors are there, they should need to keep it secure. Pass the message on, please, and then we'll all win from this. No problem I've highlighted how that you've not got enough concrete on the edge and the path's falling away. It's falling down the bank. Okay. Uh, so, you know, it's, that's probably not Royal Mail concern. I don't, I wouldn't it, have thought it's so, part, but... It's, um, it's like yeah. But it's worthy of concern, you know, pedestrians... It looks like they're on it anyway, because... They're no, obviously. that's separate. But, yeah, yeah. You have had, you have had um, repairs. You see the little concrete along the edge. They have tried to repair it, but it's already falling away. But that's minor compared to what I've just spoken about. No, that's, that's absolutely fine. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, just to reassure you, though, none of our vehicles park on the pavement, so no. our vehicles have not caused that. It's, it's part of the... Do you know if vehicles, if vehicles had caused it, you'd see the crack here? Absolutely. So I agree with absolutely. you. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, thank you for your time. No problem at all. Yep, thank, thank you. you. Cheers. So there we go. It's a security penetration test at the Royal Mail facility. They uh, assure me it's not in operational right now. It's having new equipment put into it so that it can help the network in the future. It looks too used. It doesn't look a brand new facility. So, but it has confirmed when there was uh, much busier, you know, maybe at Christmas, maybe during COVID, they used this place and then security was present. But okay, that's uh, reassured us a little bit. <laughs> so 
why are all the lights on <laughs> anyway right that's royal mail done we try and make a difference we try and close these security weaknesses when it matters to us so i hope you enjoyed that one if you want to see more security penetration tests being done <laughs> when there's clearly no security and there should be then do let me know in the comments but for now from royal mail here in milton Keynes grove park <laughs> Please give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.